Okay, good morning everyone and happy Wednesday to you and welcome to Full Body Stretch. My name is Lisa Breezy. I'm a wellness heart coach, exercise physiologist, and founder of State of the Heart Fitness and I'm happy that you're here whether you are a regular or you're watching for the first time uh, on the recorded version on YouTube, whatever. I'm just happy that you're here. I hope you're having a good morning so far. We're going to make it even better with our 45 minute stretch. So as I always say, make sure you listen to your body you know, do what feels right to you. If something doesn't quite feel right, make sure that you honor that and make adjustments as necessary. Take a breather. Uh, obviously, stretching is more of a lower intensity exercise, but we still want to be aware. Make sure that you've had some water, maybe something light to eat, just to keep the blood sugars up and, and hydration levels. All right, at the end of class, of course, I will stay on after. If you have any questions or concerns, you just let me know. All right, everybody ready to get started? And let's see if my, um, my sidekick here is, is working with me today. Hopefully, so. oh, she is, okay. It's always a good day when she's working, but we never know when she's going to interrupt us about some news of the day, right? Okay, everybody, we're going to start off standing up. And we're just going to start moving it out a little bit. So with your feet, maybe like shoulder width apart, let's just go ahead and start swinging the arms. Smiles on those faces. Another beautiful day. Just because if nothing else, we're making it a beautiful day, right? Good. So we want to just warm it up a little bit. Get that body moving. Get the circulation flowing. Oh, to all those little parts in our body. Get that blood flow, oxygen. Hopefully you've had a good night's rest. Rest, sleep, so, so important for healing, for rest and repair. It's the only time that our body has the time to really repair itself, especially during this time of, you know, this virus. Your sleep is really, really important. Good. All right, and then just kind of get your, your body a little bit more into it. Get those knees involved, those legs. Yes. Excellent. A couple more swings of those arms. And then let's take our hands and inhale those arms up. And exhale, bring them down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale up. And exhale down. And let's just shake out those hands, those arms. Shake out those legs. Wake it all up. Good. Let's take those feet wide, hands on those inner thighs, and we're just going to drop one shoulder down and then the other. As we just shift our weight side to side, notice where you feel this in your body as we gently just move side to side, breathing. Slow, deep, relaxed breaths. If you can, close your eyes a little bit. If your balance allows you to, just so you can tune in. Breathe deep through that nose and feel good. A couple more to each side. Good, excellent, and then let's bring those feet in hip width apart. I'm gonna show you the side view. What we're gonna do is we're gonna arch our back, tilt the tailbone back, let's up, eyes closed if you can. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch, so moving that spine. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Couple more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, 
inhale, round it out. One more. Inhale. Let's just arch and hold. Hold, hold, hold. Breathe deep. Keep the weight in your heels. And then let's just take those arms up, palms facing each other. And then just sit down into those hips and reach those arms up, reach that head, stretch that spine. Breathe deep. Just hold and breathe. Taking one more deep breath in. Exhale, come on out of that. Yes, excellent job. Feet wide. Let's take those hands, push the palms away. Tuck the chin, round out your back. Spread those shoulder blades. Knees are bent. Showing you the side view, tucking the tailbone. Round it out. Good. Sway those hips side to side if you like. Wanted to sing along. Mm. Okay. We always want to hold each stretch a minimum of 15 seconds. Longer the better, 30 to 60 seconds. Some restorative yoga classes we hold stretches up to three minutes. And then let's go ahead and take those hands behind us. Interlace your fingers. Open up the chest. If you can't interlace your fingers, just keep those arms out. Palms facing me. And just open that chest. Head back. Keep the knees slightly bent. Just breathe deep. Feel what feels right to you. Those of you interlacing your fingers, bring those arms up. Feel a stretch across the chest, through the shoulders, into the biceps. Breathe. Sway those hips side to side if you like. Make it a dance with your body. Breathe deep. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Shake out those arms. Excellent. Let's just roll those shoulders in a backward direction. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. I know you love it when I sing. That's why you come. Don't lie. Exercise is secondary. My singing is first, right? <laughs> Rocket man. All right, hands on those hips. Feet hip width apart. Then we're going to just rotate our upper body around in a circle. Imagine you're drawing a circle with your head on the ceiling. Hips stay steady. Rock it there. Rock it there. Couple more in this direction. And reverse. So did any of you see the movie Rocket Man? Of course, I'm imagining you're answering me either yes or no. Last October at the Hollywood Bowl, they did the movie and a sing-along. Oh my gosh. It was incredibly moving, and then Elton John came out at the end, and uh, we all sang with him. A glorious moment at the Hollywood Bowl. Good. All right, team, come back up, and then let's rotate our hips. Hip circles. Yes. Getting those hips moving. Ooh. How we feeling, team? Like... Rock stars? Oh, yes. How about stretch stars? Yes, stretch stars. There's a phrase. Good. The phrase that pays. Then let's reverse the direction. Big circles in the other direction, loosening up those amazing hips. 
Yes, remember movement equals life. Ah, long, slow, deep breaths. Yes. Good. All right, everybody. We are going to go ahead and do some forward bends. So we're going to reach those arms up and back. Inhale and exhale, fold forward. And inhale, up and back. And exhale, fold forward. That's interesting. Somebody just decides she's not going to play, but I'm going to correct that. Inhale, arms up. I told you, I won't mention her name, but we kind of have a shtick going on these days. Somebody's a little temperamental, not sure why. And again, I won't say her name, but it starts with an A and ends in an A and has a flex in between. Good, so inhale, reach back, exhale, fold forward. Keep those knees slightly bent. Mm, exhale. And just find the joy in moving your amazing body. Good, tuning in. Notice where your feeling is. Breathing deep and slow as we bow down and bless the beautiful body and all of the tissues, all of the cells, all of the organs that we just take for granted that are operating smoothly and efficiently and healthily. Just send those cells, those tissues and organs, lots of love, and gratitude as we forward fold and stretch back. Let's do a couple more. And on this last one, inhale, reach up, and then let's exhale and just hang out there for a little bit. Keep those knees slightly bent. And let just gravity stretch your neck, your spine. Just roll the chin shoulder to shoulder. You want to keep a slight bend of those knees, but you do want to feel a little stretch in those hamstrings. You don't ever want to force the stretch. It's not about touching your toes or the floor. It's just about going to that point where you feel the edge of that stretch. And you relax, you release, and you allow. Allow it to happen. Allow your body to trust you so that it can release and let go. Your body is often in protect mode when we are in fight or flight stress response, which is a lot of our day, believe it or not. It causes tension in the body, the muscles to contract. So the body's in protect mode. So it takes a little bit to allow it just to release and let go. And we do that best with our breathing, breathing slowly and deeply being mindful, being present. Good, and then let's slowly take your time, start with your tailbone, you're gonna roll your spine up. Remember, take your time. Feel each vertebra stack on top of the other with your neck, your shoulders, your neck, your head, the last to come up and just roll those shoulders in a backward direction. Feel the shoulder blades slide up and down. Excellent job, team. Good. Let's just shake it out. Good. How are we doing? Doing okay? Yay? All right. We are going to, I'm going to show you the side view. We're going to do some leg swings. So if you need to hold on to the ball or chair for balance, you can. Doesn't matter which leg, we're going to do both. So what we're going to do is just swing those legs forward and back, forward and back. The standing leg, knee is slightly bent. Slightly bent. We never want to lock out those joints. Locking out those joints push, puts a strain on our tendons and ligaments. You might 
might be wondering what's the difference between tendons and ligaments? Tendons is the connective tissue that attaches your muscles to your bones. Ligaments, the connective tissue that connects your bones to bones. Okay? And then we have the fascia, which is the white little cobwebby, sinewy connective tissue that surrounds every muscle. And when we are sedentary, that fascia gets tight and rigid. It's like when you've been sitting a lot throughout the day, or you've been laying down, you've been sleeping, you get up and it's like, oh, I've got to stretch that out. It's like taking a broom through the cobwebs. This is what we're doing. Good. And then let's turn around, let's do the other side. Opening up those hips. Our hips are often very tight. They're at the center of our body. They are taking a lot of our body weight. The hips store a lot of emotional energy. Believe it or not, emotion is energy in motion, but if it's not expressed and it's suppressed, it becomes stuck in our body. That energy gets stuck. So stretching and movement and acknowledging our feelings, our emotions, allows the energy to be released, flowing. Isn't that exciting? Good. Open those hips. A couple more. Ah, yes. Okay, so now what I want you to do, you can either use... Again, hold on to, for something for balance. We're going to stretch our quads, the front of our thighs. So if you could do this without holding on, great. It's a balance exercise. Otherwise, no big deal if you are. But we're going to take one leg by either your pant leg or a sock or a shoe if you have a shoe on. Or if you need to take a towel and take that towel around and hold it up, that's fine too. Whatever works. But what we're going to do, you can also put your foot up on a chair. If you can't quite reach it, you put it up on a chair. But what we're going to do is we're going to tuck our tailbone underneath. So push your hips forward, flex that foot, and push your heel away. So standing tall. So we're not leaning forward. We're keeping that knee directly underneath our hip. But we're pushing those hips forward. At the same time, pushing that heel away. Keep a slight bend to your supporting knee. And of course, a smile on your face. Mm-hmm. Everybody can sing on this one. Let it be. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Release. Switch to the other side. How are we doing? Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Switch legs. Take a hold of that leg, either that pant leg, sock, or if you have a shoe, or your ankle, or place that foot on a chair, use a towel, stand tall. Maybe I should stand here so you can kind of see me a little bit more. I got black on. Me and Johnny Cash today. Flex that foot, push your heel away, tuck the tailbone, keep that knee directly below your hip. Standing knee, slightly bent, smiles on those faces. Let it be. Everybody, let it be. 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 Breathe deep and slow. Life is good. Opening up those muscles, opening up those hips. Let it be. Let it be good. Deep breath in. Exhale and release. Shake out those legs. Awesome job, team. We're going to take it down to the floor. So you're going to take your stronger leg forward. And we're going to brace ourselves with one, our hands on the thigh. Drop that back knee down. And then let's come onto our hands and our knees. Okay? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to do it this way today. Usually I'm facing the other way. So, sometimes we just got to 
change our routine. All right, hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do cat cow. You're gonna inhale, arch the back, tilt the tailbone. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale, arch. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it up. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it up. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. One more. Inhale. Let's just hold. Arch. Breathe. Let it be. There will be an answer. Let it be. And then one more. Tuck the chin. Tuck the tailbone. Pull the navel up. Stretch. Good. Breathe. Excellent. And then we're going to go ahead and do some hip circles. So you're just going to rotate your hips around in a circle. Yes. But I'm just going to adjust the camera. So rotate those hips around. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay. And then let's reverse the direction. Good. Reverse the direction with those hip circles. Ah, long, slow, deep breathing. Eyes closed, really tune in. Feel. Hmm. Good. One more circle. Excellent. I'll show you the side view once again. We're going to do a little hip flexor stretch. Our hip flexors are often very tight, especially if we sit a lot throughout the day. So we're going to come to our knees, and I want you just to take one leg, again, it doesn't matter which one, one leg out and forward, uh, far enough forward so that the knee is not going to protrude over the toes, because what we're going to do, shoulders over this hip, we're just going to drop into that hip, and we want to make sure the knee, the front knee is right over the heel, not over the toes, so we don't want it like this, okay? Big step forward, and we want to get that nice hip flexor. Yes, back is tall. If you want to add a little bit more to this stretch, you can take your hands and interlace your fingers, lift those arms. Looking up, this is just a, a supplement. You don't have to do this. Do what feels right. Drop a little deeper into the hip flexor if you can. So when we're sitting a lot, the hip flexor muscles are in a very shortened and tightened state of contraction. And if we don't stretch them out like we're doing right now, go ahead and release. What ends up happening is those tight hip flexors pull your pelvis forward and put pressure on the vertebral discs in your lower back. So we wanna make sure those are lengthened so that pelvis can sit neutrally and that spine can sit the place it needs to. All right, let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Oh, big, big step forward. Okay, hands on your thigh. Remember, we want this foot out far enough so the knee does not go over the toes. Drop deep into that hip, shoulders over the hips. And again, if you want to, add the arms. You can, you don't have to. Just, if you can, with eyes closed, and if not, if that makes you feel uncert uh, uncertain, don't worry, then keep your eyes open, but if you can, close your eyes. Just allow yourself to breathe deep and slow. Good. And holding it there, and 
Remember holding each second, uh, each second, each stretch, a minimum of 15 seconds. The longer, the better as we allow those muscles to release, let go. Oh, yes. And release. Awesome job, everybody. Let's bring that knee back and we're going to sit back into child's pose. So let's just Sit back onto those heels, reach those arms forward, walk your fingers out there, stretch that spine. If you need to open up those knees, that's fine. If you want to put a pillow underneath your, your backside, that's fine. Again, do what feels right to you. Bow the forehead toward the floor. Big stretch through that spine, through the shoulders. And then what I want you to do with your hands, walk your hands over to the left side as far as you can with those arms extended until you feel that stretch through the rib cage on the other side. Breathe deep. And then let's walk those hands back to center and take it over to the other side as far as you can. Feel that stretch through the rib cage. Good, and then walk those hands back to center. And let's come back up. Ooh, nice work, everybody. Let's take those hands right underneath our shoulders. Let's just do a little down dog if you can. If not, you can stay in child's pose. Otherwise, curl those toes under and push yourself up into down dog. Drop into those heels. Relax your head and your neck. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings as you press your chest towards your thighs, lifting that tailbone toward the ceiling. Breathe, long, slow, deep breaths. And then let's just alternate, bending one knee and then the other. As we say in yoga, walking the dog. And then drop both heels down once again. Breathe long, slow, deep breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, come back to the knees. And sit back in the child's pose for just a moment. Long, slow, deep breaths. You can just kind of rock slowly side to side. Good, and then come back up. We're going to stretch those glutes with pigeon pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one leg and bring it up toward our hands. So that lower leg is kind of across our abdomen or our chest as you push the other leg straight back. Point those toes. Again, stretching the glutes, opening up the hips on the other side. And then if you can come down and just kind of work your way, notice where you feel this the most. Where is the tightest part in those hips? Just allow yourself to work your way in and breathe. Long, slow, deep breaths. And wherever that tightness is, just imagine those, those muscle fibers just lengthening and stretching. And as I always like to say, Stretching and breathing is like opening the curtains in the morning and letting the sun shine in. 
opening it up, bringing the light into our amazing body, and let's go ahead and walk ourselves out of that, and we'll switch legs. How are we doing, team? Go ahead, bring that other leg forward and across, push that other leg straight back, point those toes, and then when you're ready, bring yourself down as you feel that stretch in the glutes or in the hip flexor or both. Feel what feels right to you and your body. Long, slow, deep breaths. Can you allow yourself just to be fully present right here, right now, in your body? Letting your breath be your focal point. Allowing yourself the gift of this moment, the gift of the present. Good, and then let's go ahead and walk ourselves out of that. And we're going to come to a seated position. Okay, with our legs crossed. All right, hands on those knees, back is tall, and we're just going to do some neck circles. Rotating the head around in a circle. Again, eyes closed so you can tune in and connect. And you may notice the snap, crackle, and pop in the neck throughout that movement. Nothing to be afraid of. Unless, of course, you're feeling any sharp shooting pains. We don't want that. So listen to your body. All those little snap crackles and pops are is just little air bubbles in the synovial fluid in your cervical spine between the vertebrae. Isn't that exciting? Hallelujah. Good. And reverse. Oh, yes. Slow, rhythmic movements. I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord. Couple more. You don't really care for music, do you? Good. And up. Let's do some spinal oh, flexion forward and back. Inhale, heart forward, shoulders down. Exhale, round it up. Inhale, heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You knew I was going there, right? Hallelujah. Time to start your day. What are, why? We've already started. Today is Cher's birthday. The Grammy and Oscar winning artist is best known I'm for telling you. vocals, quickly, and eccentric fashion What gets sense. into her? If I could turn back time, I'd tell her not to change a thing. Um, but you made it through. I surrender, team. I don't get it. Happy birthday, Cher. It's my birthday tomorrow. True story. <laughs> but apparently someone needed to tell me it was Cher's birthday. It's comedy. <laughs> Time to start your day. Too late. We've already started it. All right, let's do some coffee grinders. Rotate your belly button around. Hallelujah. Oh my Lord. Good. Hallelujah. Get that nice fluid spine. Hallelujah. You can't beat her join her, right? I give up. I guess it's part of our routine these days. And then let's reverse. Sorry, I can't help myself. Good, and forward. Let's go ahead and take our right leg forward. And let's bring that left leg across, okay? And let's wrap. 
our arms around that knee. Bring that knee toward the opposite shoulder. Sit tall. If that doesn't work for you, just go ahead and just kind of just rock that leg. Whatever feels good, but just give yourself a hug. Ah, shoulders relaxed, eyes closed. Breathe deep as you feel that stretch in the glutes. And the hamstring. Good, and then if you want to take this to the next level, you take your left hand behind you. Rotate to the left. Or a little bit more, take that right arm, press back against the knee if you can. Open up that chest as you rotate your head over the left shoulder. Hallelujah. 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 All for the price of admission, team. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, release. Hallelujah. Switch legs. Bring that leg in. Knee toward the opposite shoulder. Your back is tall. Shoulders relaxed. Smiles on those faces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another day. Another glorious moment. Good. And if you want more of a stretch, take that right hand behind you. Rotate to the right. Or even more of a stretch, bring that left arm and press back against the knee. Turn your head over that right shoulder. Breathe deep. Man, that is a beautiful song. Whew. And that was Katie Lang's version of it. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Nice job, team. We're going to come onto our backs. How are we doing out there? We're almost there. This class, we're like, we don't want it to end. So let's hug those knees into our chest, okay? So you can take your hands behind your knees or over your shins, whatever feels right to you, and just go ahead and rock side to side. Shoulders relaxed, eyes closed. Allow yourself to be supported by the floor. Take some long, slow, deep breaths. And then take your hands on top of your knees and rotate your knees around together in a circle, massaging your lower back. And reverse the direction. And then let's place our feet on the floor. And let's just drop our knees out to either side. Okay, a little butterfly stretch. Take your arms out, palms up. Your, the soles of your feet are together. We just do a little inner thigh stretch. Eyes closed. Again, allow yourself to be completely supported by the floor, but not just the floor, by life. Breathe in deep, slow healing breaths. Allowing yourself to be open to receiving all that this moment has to give to you in every moment. Allow the fullness of your breath. Really breathe deep into the lungs, into the heart, even into the abdomen. Feel 
that peaceful, quiet place deep inside, deep in the heart space. deep breaths here. And then bring those knees back up and extend those legs out and reach your arms over your head. Make yourself as long as you can. Big stretch through the fingertips, through the toes. Lengthen and breathe. Mm. Letting go of any tension or any thoughts that do not belong here in this moment. Or maybe in any moment for that matter. Good, and then let's take that right knee in. Hug that knee in. And then with your left hand, bring that leg across to the left side. Right arm extends onto the floor. Keep your shoulder blades flat, turning your head over the right shoulder, and just bringing that right knee over to the left side, just to the point where you feel that stretch across the chest, down the spine, into that right hip, to that right glute. Eyes closed. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring that leg up. Extend it onto the floor as we take that left knee in. Hug it in, and then with your right hand, bring it across to the right side. Keep your shoulder blades flat. Left arm extends. Turn your head over that left shoulder. Feel the stretch across the chest, down the spine, into that left glute. Long, slow, deep breaths. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring those knees back to center. Hug those knees in, and this time let's rock and roll up and down the spot. Like a rocking chair. Couple more, and then the last one, let's come up to a seated position. Just to finish it off today, to anchor this in. So rub those hands together, and then let's press those thumbs into the sternum. Bow the chin down, bowing the forehead, eyes closed, shoulders relaxed, your back is tall. Breathe deeply and slowly as we tune into the heart space, into that inner stillness. And we breathe in some gratitude for this moment, for our amazing body for each other, and for this beautiful world, this beautiful planet. Let's take this energy into the world and let's make it a better place today for you and for me, and the entire human race. When we heal our heart, we heal the world. Thank you so much, everybody. Appreciate you being here. And that concludes today's full body stretch. All right. So if any of you want to stay on,
I will stay on and answer any of your questions or concerns. Uh, thank you all for attending today and those of you who watch on YouTube, thank you. And again, thank you for those of you who have been able to donate. I totally appreciate that. And again, if you, even if you can't, keep coming, okay? All right, everybody, have a wonderful day. And I will see you tomorrow, Strength and Balance, and Friday, Progressive Relaxation and Freelance Dance in the afternoon. All right, have a great day, everyone. Bye.